Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to give you my review on Philoprint Build Surface from Philofarm. So I've been running the Prusa i3 MK2S for months now, and I just love the printer. But I don't particularly love the PEI sheet. Everything sticks really well, but that's the problem, everything sticks too well, and sometimes I have trouble getting the parts off. Uh, PLA will pop off without too much problem, but I run a lot of PEG parts, and the problem I run into is I've had PETG fused to the PEI sheet. Um, I've tried the Windex trip, trip, ah, the Windex trick. I've rubbed my hands on it to get your greasy fingerprints on it. And it's helped the parts not stick as bad, but occasionally they still get parts that are stuck, almost fused to the PEI sheet. And I've had it pull up sections of the PEI sheet. I've had it tear the PEI sheet. Um, put bubbles in the PI sheet and it's just been a mess with the PETG and someone on the forums had mentioned Philoprint from Philofarm. It's a thicker build sheet and Philoprint advertises as once you have it installed um, when it's hot your parts will stick like glue and when it cools down the parts will come right off. So that's kind of what I get with my hairspray on my glass bed on my CR10 and that is exactly what I would want on the uh, Prusa. Um, I don't put the glass because I use the automated, automated mesh bed leveling. So you have to use something that's not going to interfere with the pin to probe. And the Phil Philoprint does not. Um, but yeah, on my CR10 I use glass with hairspray. Everything sticks perfectly and then when it cools down it pops right off. So that's, you know, that's, that's what I was hoping to get out of the Prusa. So, I'm going to tell you how it worked out and I'm going to show you some videos. So removing the PEI sheet is the toughest part. Um, I got my bed up to 60 degrees and I peeled off the PEI sheet, left a lot of glue behind. I then used acetone and rags to clean up the leftover glue. You need to make sure the bed is really clean and there's no glue left over. The filaprint sheet, you can't touch the surface of the filip print sheet with your fingers. Uh, it was not actually that hard to work with, you know, just held onto the edges. Um, once you have your bed completely clean, you peel the sticky back off the filler print sheet, you line up one side, and then you push it down at about a 45 degree angle and you use a plastic scraper or a credit card to push it down onto the bed and you work your way across. This assures that there's no bubbles in it. Uh, once you have it all down, you take a, a kitchen rag, push out from the center, just make sure it's uh, connect it nice and tight and there's no bubbles. Uh, then you have to prep the sheet by putting a damp cloth on, getting your bed up to a 95 to 100 degrees Celsius and then letting it go for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that you're pretty much ready to print. So I wanted to start off with some simple P PLA and I started with a bunch of little little items. I wanted to start with uh, the some Batman fidget spinners that I had been working on. And as you can see in the video as um, soon as they're done, you just tap them with the plastic scraper and they come off. Um, once I stopped the video and I put a hand on the bed, the little pieces actually flew off. I actually shot one across the room, so they came off really easy as well. Uh, then I wanted to do a large PLA piece, so I did the back of the stand that filled up the whole bed. It was perfect. Once it was done, I let it cool down to room temperature. I grabbed the corner and it just popped right off. No force needed. So then I wanted to move on to PETG, which had been giving me the most trouble. I started off with some little pieces of PETG. And believe it or not, on the PEI sheet, these were hard to get off. And you can see with very little effort, I just grabbed them and pop, pop right off the filler print. And they're not leaving any marks, any bubbles, nothing. So then the last thing I wanted to do was a larger PETG piece that I had done. I had to print 80 of these. And this is one of the things that really gave me trouble with the PEI sheet. Um, it always seemed like one corner would just get stuck and it caused me to rip my PEI sheet and bubbles and all kinds of stuff. So I printed this 
uh, Y-shaped piece, let it cool down, and put my hands on the hooks, and pop, came right off, and did not leave any marks. And like I said, this had given me so much trouble. Printing 80 of these um, on, the pe on the PI sheet really just destroyed my PI sheet. I had to move the model around to new locations multiple times, so... But uh, yeah, so my review is the uh, Filiprint is awesome. It was a little pricey. It was, well, I mean, it costs like 60 bucks to get it shipped here from Germany to the U.S. But um, now that I have it, it works just like my hairspray on glass on my other one. When it cools down, you can hear the parts cracking and they pop right off and do not leave any kind of marks on the bed. And like I said, the only thing is don't touch the bed ever. If you need to wipe dust off it, like I keep a plastic scraper to... Uh, push off the little bits of you know filament and they say if you ever need to wipe dust off it or anything just use a, a damp kitchen cloth um, other than that um, I'll update if anything changes down the road I've talked to people that have used this sheet for five years they said on various printers and I'm loving it so far definitely a good buy and uh, if you're un not satisfied with your build service now I can highly recommend the Filiprint build surface from Filifarm and they have it for all different printers all different sizes all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more content, uh, subscribe, like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll keep putting more content out. All right. Have a wonderful day.